They've done it before. Can they do it again? A self-proclaimed problem-solving business expects to close on the purchase of the problem property known as the Concord Mall in Elkhart. Mark Peterson joins us live outside Elkhart City Hall with the very latest. Mark? Representatives from Ohio-based ICP were in Elkhart today to talk about what it is they do as uh, property problem solvers. They say they've got properties all across the country, uh, eight in the works, uh, former big box stores or malls uh, that they're converting to their formula. In Elkhart, they're hoping to close on the purchase of the Concord Mall sometime in September. They expect to invest three to five times the purchase price on building improvements, a figure they said would be tens of millions of dollars. And they said they're not anti-retail, that they will make room for viable retailers. One sketch, as a matter of fact, showed uh, ABC Warehouse, Hobby Lobby, and the Dental Place uh, still on the grounds at Concord. Otherwise, they envision a mix of light industrial, residential, and commercial uses. This is not our first mall endeavor. This will actually be our, our eighth retail property. We started off doing boxes, and we have already converted malls across the U.S. Our latest one that we just uh, announced is in St. Louis, the former St. Louis Mills that was built in 2000. I believe that had a rapid decline. But as Jeff mentioned, we're seeing this across the U.S. We're seeing the 1,200 malls that are starting to get diminished based on demographics, based on financing, based on merchandise mix. What's critical is our model doesn't work everywhere. Our model works where the market fundamentals are strong enough for us to come in and execute a plan for strategy and execution for the deliverables that we're going to need. The market fundamentals for Elkhart are very sound. And that Elkhart plan uh, needs, first of all, some uh, radical zoning changes. Today, those were unanimously uh, approved, or actually it's a favorable recommendation to the body that makes the final call. That'll be the Elkhart City Council. Mark Peterson, live from Elkhart with that update for us tonight. Mark, thank you. Well, the question